This is the visual abstract of the work entitled Low Cycle Fatigue Behavior of an Additively Manufactured Titanium 6AL4V Under Non-Proportional and Proportional Loading. In the recent times, the 3D printing process has been used increasingly due to the several advantages, although some drawbacks are also present. Although several researches have been conducted on 3D printed materials, information about the material behavior under low cycle multiaxial fatigue are still sparse, and investigations are necessary. In this work, four varieties of specimen, depending on the layer orientation and application of a stress relief heat treatment, have been tested. The layer orientation were vertical and horizontal according to the picture. The structure was martensitic due to the rapid cooling during the fabrication. The elongated prior beta grain direction has been detected perpendicular to the layer. Several voids have been detected on the structure. Each specimen has been tested with both proportional and non-proportional strain path. Proportional loading is represented by a push-pull strain path, while the non-proportional loading is represented by a 90 degrees out of phase push-pull and reverse torsion strain path. The not heat-treated specimens showed a longer fatigue life compared to the heat-treated specimens, both for proportional and non-proportional loading. Layer orientation was not found having influence on fatigue life both for proportional and non-proportional loading. Softening behavior was detected for each specimen. In particular, a drastic initial softening occurred for the majority of the specimens. Then, the softening beha behavior stabilized until fracture. Hardening behavior was detected in case of heat-treated specimens under non-proportional loading. More microcracks were observed on the specimen surface in case of heat-treated specimen. The orientation of microcracks and main crack was not found depending on layer orientation and heat treat treatment. Although some cracks initiated from voids, they were not located on the main crack. Void and layer orientation influence on fatigue life is therefore minor compared to the one exerted by the heat treatment.